today we're going to show you how to replace an LED array on a barn light. The tools we'll be using today will be a crescent wrench, an extender adapter is preferred, a 916 socket, a Phillips screwdriver, and pliers. We have to start from the top of the lamp. This cap nut will be removed first. We will need the 916 socket and the crescent wrench to twist off the nut. Next, we will have to twist the cap off. The lid will come straight off by pulling up gently. Next, we need pliers to take the four inner nuts off. Locate the wires. Use the pliers to pinch the caps at the widest part to release the wires. Now, these two screws will have to come off. Now the cover plate, no protector, LED array, and the metal plate should come right off. When replacing the LED array, look for any black spots. Black spots means the light has been burned out. Now grab the new LED array purchased from CocoWeb and make sure it does not have any black spots. If so, please contact CocoWeb. Please make sure the LED array and the metal plate are aligned and making sure the two outer holes are aligned with the shade. Next, put two screws across from each other, closer to the LED array holes. Next, you will have to flip the shade back over, grab the two nuts for the two screws, and tighten them on. Now, flipping the shade back over to the bottom, we will have to put the two longer screws in the LED array holes, making sure the bracket can fit on top. Flipping the shade back over to the top, now we have to place the bracket on top of the open screws. Now we would have to use pliers to tighten all the nuts, making sure they are hand tight and not too tight. Once we have hand tightened the nuts with pliers, we will have to flip the shade back over and place the node protector onto the LED array. Make sure the node protector is aligned with the holes so it's flushed. Once it is flushed, we will put the cover plate on and making sure the holes are aligned with the shade. Once we have aligned all the holes, we will put the two remaining screws in, flipping the shade back over, making sure the nuts do come out. We will place the two nuts and screw them on with pliers hand tight. Now 
after the nuts have been hand tightened we'll go ahead and grab the blue and brown wire that will be connected to the LED and run it through the bracket. After running the wire through the bracket leave around 4 inches of space to connect the wires together. Connect a brown wire and a white wire with a wire cap by placing over each wire and firmly clamping on the side with pliers. Now repeat the last step with the blue and white wire and clamp them down with pliers. Once the wires are clamped down together, we will go ahead and run the other end of the blue and brown wire through the bottom of the lid. When all the wire has been pulled through through the lid, make sure the lid sits flush with the shade, making sure there is no open edges. Once the lid is placed flush on the shade, make sure you put the rubber washer, making sure there is no liquid that can seep through. Now we will have to run the black wire through the cap placing it all the way down making sure there is no extra wire and twisting it by hand making sure it is hand tight. Lastly we will have to put the wire through the nut making sure it can be tightened. From here we will have to use the 9th 16 socket with the crescent wrench putting the wire through the socket and tightening making sure it's hand tight and not too tight. Now we have successfully put a new LED array on the barn light. For any questions regarding barn lights, LED arrays, piano lights, picture lights, please contact CocoWeb at CocoWeb.com or contact the phone number at 888-783-0378 for any other questions.